April is Sexual Assaults Awareness Month. This topic hits pretty close to home for the Grand Valley community. Earlier this year, we had several sexual assault cases reported both on and off campus. Recently, a student Senate elect member publicly condemned rape culture. So the question remains, is a university doing enough? Tuesday, a town hall was scheduled to discuss the topic of sexual assault. Prior to the event, a student Senate electee made a post on Facebook saying, quote, rape culture isn't real. The electee was also a member of Fraternity Kappa Sigma, who issued a tweet in response. Their initial tweet raised its own controversy and spurred a response from the rest of the group. And the, whoever was in charge of the uh, public relations chair at the time apparently made an executive decision to say that on Twitter. And once the rest of us saw that, we were thinking, like, that shouldn't have been said. Like, that doesn't represent us as a whole. Like, why would, why would you say that? Afterwards, the frat released an official statement on the situation. Members of the audience raised a series of concerns against the fraternity regarding their assumed culture. Kappa Sigma believes that they are taking steps against assumptions like these. There's statistical relevance that say, you know, fraternity men are more likely to sexually assault. And that's one thing that we're really trying to, you know, we're trying to make Greek life better. We don't want our organizations to be characteristic of that. And even before the whole uh, social media case happened, we had a number of brothers that were planning on coming and uh, watching this event. Kappa Sigma isn't the only member of Greek life that felt pressure on the topic. All of the sororities and fraternities received a survey that some believe to have controversial questions in it. They used strong language and made extreme behavioral assumptions. We partnered with an outside organization to bring in a, a Greek-wide, so we have about 1,800 members, survey in addressing different uh, climates and cultures within the organization in an effort to better understand the needs of our community. Outside of Greek life, many in attendance had mixed opinions on the choices made by Student Senate. Some felt that they needed to be more vocal in denouncing the actions of the elected member. If people aren't here, how will they know that Senate, you know, disavowed this individual statement? For all they know, he's still a part of Senate. Student Senate had this response. I think he's already faced a lot, to be honest. I was pretty encouraged by the amount of people that were trying to advocate against what he was saying already. Um, so I just want to say that that was very positive to see the amount of people that were denouncing it um, immediately after it happened, but I don't think that's in Student Senate's place to do that. Other issues brought up by the crowd included Student Senate's decision in not providing more sexual assault preventive measures, specifically the installation of call boxes. Every campus in Michigan, U of M, MSU, even Muskegon Community College and GRCC have call boxes. Student Senate claimed their research proved call box installation was not the most effective in practice. Student Senate will be hosting several more events throughout the month of April. Senate member Milena Hesmanis stresses the importance of everyone's participation. If you care, be present. If you want to demonstrate that your organization does not feel that sexual assault is something that should be accepted on college campuses, be present for things like this. Many questions still remain. Is it fair to make these assumptions about the members of Greek life? Is there enough opportunity for discussion between students and student senate? And what more can the university do to educate and protect its students? For Laker News, I'm McKenna Pariseau.